Hello there, my name is Only One Kenobi, Only One, and I've recently been talking about good and bad repacks, of which this figure here, the VC112, which was an awesome Sand Trooper figure, it was repacked in the Black Series, and I got that one a week ago, which would only cost me £5 actually, but anyway, the point was, it was a good repack, because this, I don't know about the USA, but in the UK, on the secondary market, the VC112 went for an astronomical amount of money, so you wouldn't want to be, wouldn't want to be buying it, spending 50 quid on it and opening it, so this was much needed by a lot of people. Um, I already had it loose anyway, because I had it in the Legacy Lost line. It was the same figure, exact same figure, but with a black pauldron. But anyway, I would like to not only talk about this figure and show you how good it is loose, I'm going to open it in a minute, I'm also going to show you my entire Sand Trooper collection, just so we can have a little look at that, which is also what I do want to do on my channel. I want to do more figures show you some more figures loose that I have in my collection. Please join me right now. All right, so let's do this, let's roll. Let's have a look at some Sand Troopers. If it'll focus, yeah, let's firstly start with this card. Now the reason, the significance of this card is that this is the figure that they repacked, because there were two Sand Trooper, yeah, Sand Trooper cards. There was this one, this was the second one, BC, I've forgotten the name of it, God damn it. BC 112, and earlier on in the vintage collection, there was this Sand Trooper, and I've always said this, VC-14 by the way, I've always said this, this Sand Trooper represents the special edition side of things, because that's a special edition image, that's definitely one of the CGI Sand Troopers that were in the movie, uh, the special edition scene, extras, um, additional scenes, I beg your pardon, so the Sand Troopers that George added were the first sort of prototype technology for the uh, prequels, I guess, they added some extra scenes, there was some CGI Millennium Falcons, and definitely Sand Troopers were, you know, CGI as well. They were kind of wandering around, looking at stuff on g and stuff. And then it cut to this scene here, which was someone was in the pipe. Tracks go off in this direction. Look, sir, droids. And um, that's what I prefer about this card here. It's more organic, or real, as opposed to this card here. It's... Well, you know, it's a lovely card. They're both nice cards, but what I mean is that's more traditional. 1977, this is more 1997. That's how I feel about it anyway. And also, this Sand Trooper figure, I do like it very much. Um, the only issue I had with it is it's clean. But I know people don't like that Sand Trooper at all, really, as opposed to this one, because it just looks better with the weathering and stuff. But I've said this before. Flyguy.net, he's a channel. I love his channel. If you watch his first ever reaction video to this when it first came out back in 2010 or whenever it was, he was really disappointed with it. He was like sort of stating in the video how there were loads of things wrong with it that he didn't like. But anyway, let's get back on task here. So this figure here in the Black Series was the VC-112 repacked. And it was a good repack because, I mean, this one here, I think I got this. I got this for, was it £40? It's a lot of money for a piece of cardboard and plastic. Whereas this cost me £5. And the reason I spent £40 on this is because uh, for most of my vintage collection I did it through good timing with auctions and patience and waiting for stuff. And But when you get to the end of your collecting, and let me know in the comments if this applies to you too, you kind of, you, you minimise the gaps of stuff you, you need to get. And so when you see stuff like this, you know, on eBay, you sometimes hit the buy button and you don't wait for auctions because they're quite rare anyway and auctions are very come around very not very frequently so yeah you end up sort of spending more at the end of your collecting run than you do at the beginning and this is one I'd say well 40 pounds is that a decent price for him not really if you compare to how much he would have been worth when he first was released and that was before I ever collected the vintage collection when he first came out in 2012, it was much later that I decided I wanted to buy the line and keep it all carded and stuff. But um, he is, of all the vintage collection figures and card backs to get, is one of the more expensive ones. Um, but there you go. So that's why he was quite a welcome addition to the repack section of the 3.75 Black Series. So that is um, <clears throat> that's all I have to say about that. And that is a duplicate. I did actually buy two of these at the Entertainer, so I didn't even need to cut there and open it up because here he is. And also, just to give you a quick uh, spoiler, there's some other Sand Troopers throughout the ages that I'm going to introduce you to in a moment. But firstly, 
let's look at this guy who's just literally fresh out of the package. Uh, the guy in the background looks very like him. He's blurred. Oh, look at that focus job there. That's good. That's good direction, man. That's, that's a good shot. The guy in the background is essentially the same figure, but he came out in the Legacy Collection Lost line. The Builder Droid line. Of, that was such a weird line. I did get hold of an entire wave of that on Amazon for a decent price, I think. But yeah, I um, I was glad to get him because I knew it was him. <clears throat> so yeah, here he is. And to, to, to be honest with you, I don't normally like to display because he, he came with one as well. This is a, another special edition item, though I believe that this to be more of a traditional Star Wars looking card. Or reflects the uh, the 77 Sand Trooper more than anything. The um, robot you see floating on him is a special edition thing. And it's buzzing around Mos Eisley. It's secure. Move on to the next one. He hovers, you know. And I don't like display. I don't really like displaying it because I don't like these things. I know that they are translucent, or well, it's not, it could be more transparent. I guess I don't know, but it's there to make it look like it's floating. Well, I don't think it does. It looks like it's actually an extension of his backpack. Let's let's spin him. Speaking of the backpacks, in fact, I'm going to take that off. Oh Jesus! Look at that now. I've just taken the backpack off, and I wanted to show you the backpack. Can you just uh, bear with me one moment, please? There you go. Right, okay, so the backpack, I just wanted to say, has not changed since this fellow who we're going to look at in a minute. That's the uh, 2000 line, the uh, Power of the Jedi. The backpacks, the backpack, so obviously, as I say, haven't changed. So there you go, there's him. So here is this guy. Um, they're quite good to army build in a way because the weathering is different on all of them. He's different on that one. I looked, in, I, I looked very carefully at them to choose which one I opened. You can't really tell on camera, he's a bit dark on his belt there, and this guy, different still. So, you can army build him, except my issue with the army building this fella is, how many, what rank is the guy in the orange pauldron? I believe that's a, oh, I don't want to, let me get this right now, is that squad leader, squad commander? I think the black is sergeant, I think, oh, I might have that wrong now. White is captain, I don't know. I should have done my research, let me know in the comments. How many orange guys would you get all together? If he is a certain position in the army, you won't get you're not gonna get more than one of them. Like this guy is the same rank as well. I'll talk to him, talk about him in a minute. So there's not really much point in army building them unless you remove the pauldron. Excuse my voice by the way, it's the end of the day here and um <clears throat> it's drying up. I should have had a swig of water, but that doesn't matter. So there he is, that's essentially the same figure. Let's go back in time now to previous releases. Let's have a look if you'd like to see this guy. Closer up, here he is, and the one thing I like about him myself, as I say, he has received criticism from, well, not, I can't speak for everybody, but flyguy.net had a few words about him when he first came out, but one thing I love about him is that rifle, the way it sits in his hand, his arms, is, is fantastic. It's just like a glib, <laughs> he looks ready for action, whereas these cannons here are just huge, man. <clears throat> I have, I have that one over his shoulder, in fact, yeah, I don't have any... Impl I, I just put that there to make a little bit of a change, really. I don't like having that in his hand because they're just too big. And these things don't have any slack to them. So it wouldn't... The natural law of physics wouldn't mean it hung like that, if that makes sense. So I have them just... Use the strap and have them hanging over the shoulder. But this guy has that special kind of rifle. I don't know the name of it. It's like a Tommy gun, man. It's really cool. I like it. I hope I'm not making anybody sick with the motion of the camera, but I'm just sort of getting these close-ups. All right, let's move back in time. This is a 30th anniversary Sand Trooper. He came with an orange pauldron. I think you could get one with a white and a black, maybe. And they all had different degrees of dirt. Now, this was the dirtiest one. I think there was the Sand Trooper, the Dirty Sand Trooper, and the Dirtiest, or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, that ammo pouch there, that's what Fly Guy... I'm talking about Fly Guy a lot here. He had an issue with this one because it didn't have it, but it doesn't really, not the end of the world. But anyway, I think it's supposed to, or, the, or he would prefer to see it. And I've put the little tensure of the thermal detonator or whatever in his hand as well. So yeah, he looks good. And then this is a really good one. I do believe fellow figure collector James said of, of this line of figures, which was the 2000... Um, <clears throat> The year 2000, Power of the Jedi line, 
this is one of the best figures in it, and I totally agree, James. It's a really good looking Sand Trooper. Back when I was collect first collecting Sand Troopers, I just wanted one with a black, which was this one. An orange, which was that one, I believe. Oh, no, no, that was the one I had that was orange, and then oh, I just knocked them over. And then white, and that's as far as I was going with my Sand Trooper, Sand Trooper collecting, but obviously I've got a few more now. But they are the three colours you can have. Um, and even in A New Hope, there is one running running around that doesn't have a pauldron. I always remember him. All right, man, launch your weapons. And there's one guy who doesn't have a backpack. So, there you go. And what is a sand trooper, by the way? I don't believe in the Imperial Army the term sand trooper is used. I think sand trooper is a fan name because they are seen in the sand. A sand trooper, ladies and gentlemen, in the opinion of only one Kenobi, is a stormtrooper on manoeuvres because these guys are just stormtroopers that are kitted out going out on missions, expeditions, whatever you want to call it obviously they've got the kit to survive in a desert but those star destroyers will have whatever these guys need sometimes they even change their armour altogether and become snowtroopers if the weather situation demands it so that's it they are cool, stormtroopers are cool man and that's why I love sto uh, sand troopers, and I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. So that is my array of sand troopers. This guy's not going to stand up. Oh, he has. Yeah, he stood up. That's all my loose sand troopers and my carded situation there. And as I say, I was doing that video to show you that this guy was a decent or well chosen repack for everybody. And if you like that video, please let me know in the comments. And I am hoping to do more. For God's sake. Stand to attention, you mother. Um, I'm intending on doing more loose figure reviews of, like, you know, category. I'm going to nick that idea from Sci-Fi in Australia. He's done some great videos where he shows his loose collections. So that's all Sand Troopers. I might do, like, a Hoth collection video. And I think I need to go and drink some water, man. Because uh, I'm starting to sound like George Lucas. My name is George Lucas. I'm the creator of the Star Wars trilogy. Uh, to do an impression of George Lucas, you just need to have a really dry throat and talk about kind of many chlorians and kind of like Star Wars and faster and more intensity. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.